3L series multifunctional fluidized bed granulation coating machines. 3D explanation. DPL multifunctional fluidized bed granulation coating machine integrates the functions of mixing, spray granulation, film coating, and fluidized bed drying. It can directly granulate the power material in one step. The grain is quick soluble in water. The medicinal granulates can easily dissolve out and the tablet can be easily disintegrated. The waterproof, smell hiding and slow releasing coating operation is available. It features with small occupation area, rational structure, stable performance, high productivity, easy operation, high automation and easy cleaning. The machine consists of air intake system, host machine system, exhaust system, spray system and electrical control system. The air intake system includes the preliminary filter, medium sufficient filter, condensation dehumidifier, water guard, cold hot air valve, heater, high temperature resistance, high sufficient filter and intake pipe. The fresh air enters into the condensation dehumidifier after the preliminary and medium filtering to reach the dew point temperature. The fresh air with proper humidity reaches the intake temperature after it is mixed in the cold hot air valve, cold air passage and heater. It enters into the host machine from the base after high sufficient filtering. The heater is controlled by PLC to control the air intake temperature in the position of plus minus 1 Celsius degree. The host machine system consists of capture chamber, diffusion chamber, top spray raw material container, bottom spray raw material container, side spray raw material container, and lift to base. If the top spray method is used for the granulation, the air flows into the top spray raw material container from the air flow distribution panel after filtering, dehumidification and heating. The powder in the raw material container is fluidized and mixed. The fluid material is delivered into the top spray gun by the peristaltic pump. The compressed air enters into the spray gun from the external source and atomizes the fluid material into fine dripping. One part is sprayed on the fluidized powder in the container as the wet adhesive for the granulation. Another part goes up with the air and is completely dried. The dried powder is captured by the capture bag. The valve closes when the powder reaches certain amount. The capture bag of the left chamber of the filter room shakes and the dry powder is mixed with the seed in the top spray raw material container. The valve opens again after shaking and it closes after some time. And the capture bag of the right chamber of the filter room shakes. The left and right chambers shakes alternately to clear the powder and make the filter bag free of obstacle. The spray drying granulation is completed. When bottom spray method is used for coating, the bottom spray raw material container and the diffusion chamber are used. The bottom spray air flow distribution panel that is located at the bottom of the raw material container distributes the air flow between the internal and external drum. Most of the air flows up with the material to the diffusion chamber through the spray bed. Since the space is enlarged suddenly, the air flow speed reduces and the grains returns back to the raw material container. With the air flow, the grains are fluidized in the bottom spray container. The pressure difference caused by the air flow speed difference between the spray bed and mobile bed would lead the grains at the bottom of the mobile bed into the spray bed. The materials at the bottom of the mobile bed continuously move upwards into the spray bed when the materials at the upper of the mobile bed return down slowly for the circle of the bottom spray coating. The coating operation is completed. When the side spray method is used for granulation and coating, the side spray raw material container is used. 
A drum palletizing and coating chamber is available with the turntable at the bottom. When it is steel, the edge of the turntable sticks to the wall of palletizing and coating chamber. The turntable lifts after the machine starts, and a gap is generated between the turntable and the wall for the air to pass. The gap size can be changed by adjusting the height of the turntable. The air mass can be adjusted when the air intake speed remains the same, ensuring that the palletizing, coating, and packaging within the same machine. In this machine, the fluidization of the materials is close to zero due to the three kinds of force. The centrifugal force caused by rotation of the turntable can move the material on it to the wall in radical direction. The air that passes the gap makes the material move up for the fluidization. The gravity of the makes the materials fall onto the turntable again by overcoming the air act. The atomizer installed on the wall of the palletizing and coating chamber can add fluid and powder according to the consistent motion direction, getting even coating effect. The exhaust system consists of the draft fan, muffler, and exhaust pipe. The exhaust gas from the husk machine can be exhausted to the exterior after it passes the muffler and reaches the emission standard.